Air bike needs new gear. I'm gonna take this gear off. I'm gonna build some like cub gear, bush gear. My friend did have this gear that he took off from uh, S7 and they put on some Roberts bush gear. Um, so it is lighter weight, obviously it, it bent there. It's kinda, kinda maybe on the heavy side. I would take that spring off if I use this gear and it may be lighter or the same weight as this gear. We'll see, I have to stay under the ultralight limit. So that's gonna be a challenge, but let's see what we can do. Build some new gear for this. Well, there it is. Pretty light. Dang. Look at that. They put a insert up there. I wonder if I could use this. If I could use this, but I have to straighten it back out. So I don't know, unless I went this way. <laughs> I don't know if that's chrome wall or not. I would, I would imagine it is, but hmm. Okay. That's the heavy part right there. Can't tell which one's lighter. I think, I think this is lighter and it has the brake on it. So after weighing this one, it actually is a pound heavier. So I'm gonna gain two pounds, which I think it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna definitely be stouter. So it's gonna be safer. I could build gear, but by saving a pound, yeah, it's a pound on all ultralight. That's pretty good, like two pounds. So really not that bad and it's a little bit thicker, stouter. I'll bend this back probably, straighten it out, try and um, beef that up. I'll have to cut this off, cut this off so it matches up a little nicer. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Here we go. That's looking good. I'm, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm happy with this gear. I think it's gonna be perfect. Uh, I know a lot of you guys said you should have toe in or toe out. Uh, most said toe in, some said toe out. And honestly, I don't know what would be better. I think toe in seems to be better, but talking to some guys around here, they said just make them straight. And honestly, it's way easy to set up the gear because you can just throw this tube in between the two axles and you're good to go. Too heavy. 
doesn't need to be this heavy. We have a very special sponsor for this video, Diamond Doors, a hanger door. If you're in the market for a hanger door, check them out. They are a bifold hanger doors that are high quality. They have convenient features like electrical auto lock, remote opener, greaseless hinges, and onboard electrical diagnostics. I think the best feature is either the remote opener and the electrical auto lock. Like that's, that's just, that's awesome. I mean, being in your car and being able to hit that button and watch that hangar door open and your airplane sitting there staring at you, sounds like a dream. So the Diamond Doors driveline eliminates cable overlap and delivers a consistent opening speed unlike any other door designs. It can be stopped at any point in the cycle and resume opening without bringing the door back down. This company was founded by a former commercial pilot in 1998. Their design is engineered with pilots in mind. So right now until August 30th, you can get 15% off your Diamond Door with their Oshkosh Air Show Special. So jump on this. Your Diamond Door will arrive to your hangar completely assembled, pre-wired, and finished painted for easy installation. That sounds like a dream. Click the link in the bio to get yourself a free quote. Thank you, Diamond Doors, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the air bike. That's my template. My gussets, gussets. Tight, things are tight. Look at this. Hmm. Then we'll take this. We're gonna put what's that? Put this right here. Like so. But first we're gonna put this guy like this. Go here. Mm up into there. So I gotta figure out how to squeeze this down like that and, uh, and weld it to there. Yes. I'm gonna work on the other side right now. I'm not gonna film it because it takes time setting the camera up and then we'll be back and then we'll work on the Cabane V, the thing in the middle, that stuff. I'm jumping. So I had these bushings. These are the bushings that came off the old gear. The stuff I have had was a little bit too thin of wall and I didn't want to rip it off. Better safe than sorry. We are back on the landing gear. Yay, I was farming and it feels really good to be back working on this. I kind of forgot where I was on everything. I caught myself back up with myself. I am just putting in the tension tubes, which has these uh, bungees and stuff. I have some ideas 
but I just gotta get this done. So we're gonna keep it simple, how everyone does it with kind of bungees. It'll make it lightweight, which is what we want. And you can see my very nice professional plumb bob. So anyways, let's get to it. Here we go. Look at this, and look at this. Is it looking straight to you? It looking straight to me. I think we're good. I'm jumping in. 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 Let's go. Used a bigger bolt than a quarter inch on this down here. Nice, pretty good snug fit right there. Oh, I'm gonna have to weld the washer on here because they use, I think, a 5 sixteenths. And I need it to be a quarter inch. Plan of action, take the gear off, weld it all up, Try to do some TIG on it. Then I will actually weld a little bit more while it's on here. And then I gotta somehow weld the gussets that are on the airplane, which is gonna be hard to weld them upside down. I could either tilt this way, flip that way. I don't know, I'm gonna figure that out. I feel like a kid in a candy shop. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. Oh. How cool is that? Three point five. Was it 4.34? Almost a pound lighter. 